We're at um, MQX in New Hampshire in 2016 and introducing the new Nolting NV. Uh, it's a, the NV is the fifth generation stitch regulator, Nolting fifth generation stitch regulator, NV. And uh, today we've got it in the gloss white optional upgrade paint, 24 by 10 chassis uh, with the pro style handles and the touchscreen stitch regulator that's known as, uh, this package is known as the NV. Now you can get it in different colors and you can see it's the same base platform as the Pro. It just doesn't have the, the same interface with the stitch regulator. So here we go with uh, some, some features of the stitch regulator. You've got one of the nice features of this is it has four buttons on the handles. You can adjust those buttons to fit your specific needs for right-handed or left-handed or any other uh, details. Uh, in this case we've got the, the buttons are also listed across the bottom of the screen. You can touch them on the screen or you can touch them on the handle. Today we've got them mounted in a traditional path and that is this is green is on and off, red is half stitch or needle up down. The tan is a full stitch, single stitch. And then the purple is a programmable locking stitch. And in this case, we've got it programmed to do three stitches to do a lock-in stitch. And again, they're also repeated on the, on the screen. Lock stitch, if I touch this, it'll do three. Single stitch, needle up down, on and off. Uh, above that, you've got um, the different modes of operation. Basting mode, where it does basting stitches. Manual mode, where you just do a constant speed, and you can adjust that speed. Uh, precision sewing mode, like a traditional nolting machine with a stitch regulator that stops moving the machine, you stop sewing. When you get going, it gets going again. If you go slow, it stitches slow. If you go fast, it stitches fast. And then the a new option for stitch regulators on the Nolting is the idle stitch, where it um, doesn't completely stop when you stop moving the machine, but idles at a slower pace so that you can um, take off quicker from a point. And then you've got other options that I'll introduce in future videos. So thanks for watching and check those other videos out.